lobster sketch. Yeah. I feel like um, the fact that they have... It just has a little more character. Sorry to cut you off. It just has a little more character than our normal stuff. So, you know? guys, I know it's not really necessarily a comedy sketch, but I was thinking it could be, like, a really great idea if we did a video maybe dealing a little bit with the lack of diversity in the Tufts comedy scene, you know, a little bit of talking about the serious problems of race and gender we have. I like the idea, but... I just feel like this doesn't really make sense for a sketch show. Mm. Well, I just think we should take advantage of, you know, the voice we have on campus to sort of spread the word. But what's the joke? Yeah, and do we really want to joke about this serious of an issue? Good point. Oh, I was thinking of it more as a serious thing, actually. So, well, what if Sam played John? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I feel safer with Sam on board. You yeah. Know, he's a consistent actor, and I, he just he brings it. I know? also think, you know, this is probably what Jahan's vision was to begin with. Totally. Um, was having, my, not necessarily me, but, you know, my kind of acting. Well, probably you, yeah. though. I mean, we all write right. for you, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I mean, Sam Gordon humor. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's, yeah. you know, a Sam Gordon production. I mean, not really, but... Like I woke up, it was seven. Waited till eleven just to figure out that no one would call. So, who is Jahan Madhani? Uh, me. <laughs> Just kidding, you know that. Wow, that's a, it's kind of a tough question, right? Um, obviously I'm a woman of color, the daughter of East African and Indian immigrants. I'm an English major, an animation student. You know, I love comedy, but I study hard. I love to get jiggy with it on the dance floor, but, you know, why does, you know, why do I have to just be one of those things? Why can't Jahan Madani be everything? You know, who's to say? What do you like about the Tufts comedy scene? Oh, I mean, there's so much great with... Sorry. <laughs> Something that you tend to see in a, a smaller liberal arts school in New England is just a lack of diversity. Uh, what that means is you end up having men playing roles you'd kind of hoped for a, a woman to play, and that, you know, it kind of frustrates me. White people playing roles that we'd hoped for a person of color to be playing. And I'm not saying that, you know, anyone has ill will about this, I just think there's a lack of diversity that we need to try to push to kind of rectify. There's, there's so much that's great about the Tufts comedy scene. Um, something that I've loved is just seeing it grow and develop. My freshman year, there were only two women in the stand-up club, and now, you know, there's more than we can count. I think that's more of a testament to Tufts' poor mathematics program than anything else. Um, and what are you trying to do about that? Oh, well that's a, that's a good question. Uh, so I'm a part of the, this group, um, Tufts Funny Ladies. We're a, a group of um, different women at Tufts who are involved in comedy in one way or another, who are just trying to, you know, like I said a little earlier, advocate for ourselves and get our voices heard. You know, when you're in a group that just has so much testosterone in the air, uh, it kind of can make it harder to step out and be a part of that scene. And for us to kind of have our own group and something to fall back on, I think can be very helpful and supportive. You know, it can be a little intimidating to come into a room with just all of these men being best friends together and feeling like, hey, maybe, you know, feeling like a little more self-aware than you should be. And in this group, we're trying to create this environment where people can be comfortable and confident and supportive of each other and then produce the best comedy that they possibly can. Have you felt that being a woman of color has changed how you've experienced the Tufts comedy community? Yes and no. Um, the guys in Tufts comedy are so incredible and so supportive, but as a woman I've been told basically my whole life that I'm not funny or not as funny. Um, so what that means is I, I need to push a little harder for myself. But, you know, walking into a room that's just so predominantly white and male, you know, I feel like there's definitely this kind of anxiety that can creep up on me. You know, every time I don't push to support a fellow woman in her writing or don't vocalize myself to really get another new voice into the group, I'm kind of supporting this system that, you know, makes it a little more difficult for people of color and women and women of color to come up in their own right. Why do you think diversity is so important in comedy? Growing up Indian American has always been a huge part of my identity and something that I, I take pride in. Um, and so it becomes a very unsettling experience to see that that's almost never reflected in the media I watch. You know, being a person of color in Tufts comedy can feel a little alienating. And that's, you know, something that I think we should try to work to change, make it more inclusive for everybody. And I think right now I'm in a position where I can work to change that. So this is your last year at Tufts. Um, what are you hoping to leave behind? Yeah. Um, you know, this is my last year, which means I'm in this really privileged position of, you know, being someone people hopefully look up to. It's, it's also, in a way, a big weight on my shoulders, you know, because I do have this responsibility, in a way, 
to try to open the scene up for other people. I've loved my time in Tufts Comedy, and I think the only reason I got here is because someone before me kind of paved the way, and right now I'm just trying to leave some sort of, I feel like legacy is too big of a word, but just some kind of world where other people can have these great experiences that I've got to have.